Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called Whittier Mill GC, designed by, I think that's pronounced Skater Dave 69 Now I'm going to be going off the blue tee, which is 7,112 yards. Uh, which is uh, quite nice considering the last course I just played was over eight and a half thousand yards. So looking forward to this. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. I've got a par for 380 yards. I'm not going to be able to drive safely close to the green so this is going to be a layup I've got the wind behind so I need to be careful I don't go too far with this so I'll hit the three iron let's try and get it on the fairway hundred and thirty five to go so we've got a two tier green here, flags on the top, 135 yards to go but it's downwind, I'm not sure the gap wedge is going to be quite enough, so this is kind of in between clubs here, and I think what I'm going to do, although this is risky, the important thing is I need to try and get that ball on that top tier. So I think, actually, let's check out our pitch options and see what we have. See, the problem is if the pitch hits that upslope, it's just going to kill it. So, OK. I'm going to go with the pitching wedge, but because it's downwind, I'm going to increase the loft here considerably. Let's try that. I'm safely on the top tier. I'm not particularly close to the hole, but I'm better off there than down on the front. Oh, that was close. Really fancied that one. Just slightly misread it. It's a solid par to start, though. Nothing wrong with that. Got par 5 coming up next at the second. It's uphill. Fairly narrow fairway. Oh, that's a three wood. Let's change that to a driver. Oh no, that's a shocking swing. That's going to be in the rough, I think. Quite a view there. The waterfall in the background. I've got 84 yards to go into the wind. Oh, 
Oh no. Should have taken a practice swing. That's a poor one. That's a good putt. I made up for the poor pitch with a good putt, which is always a good thing. Now this one's quite long. It's uphill, as you can see. It's going to be playing approximately 100 and about 180, 181 yards, but it's into that wind as well. I've got a couple of options here. I can either club up, but if I club up, I can't afford to hit it more than 100%, otherwise it's going to go long. I think, I think I'm going to try the 6-iron here. I hit it 101, but I've hit it slightly fast. If that gets a good bounce, that could be quite close. Yeah, that's a good result. Yeah, good too. Now this is a difficult drive. If the wind was behind, it would be completely different. But this is slightly into the breeze. I'm going to have to hit this really well. Oh no. Well, it's over the water, that's the main thing. But it was a terrible swing. Quite a small target as well. Ah, it's a real shame. Let's see if we can knock this close. Stay on that top tier. Oh, and it did. That's a nice run of holes. Now, for those of you that are fairly new to the game, um, particularly if you've come from previous versions of the game as well you don't need to be hitting these shots perfect as you as you probably noticed already I've not been hitting them perfect it's been slightly off but just as in real golf you can hit the ball not perfect shall we say and still get a good result and the same principle applies in this game as well you just got to be as close to perfect as you can get it but you don't have to be perfect so don't get too hung up on that now then 414 yards wind helping got to be careful I don't drive this too far so what I'm going to do lower the loft so that I don't get as much carry on the shot It's looking good. It shouldn't run too far because it's going uphill here. Although, I say that and I've gone too far. Is it going to stop? I don't believe it. I've gone... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, nuts! That's a real shame. Oh, and I've got... 
terrible lie here. Okay, maybe I should have hit the three wood off the tee. Oh, this is this is a nightmare. Yeah, this is a total nightmare. It's only light rough. But I'm on a very steep downhill slope. Wind behind. I'm not really sure what club to hit here. I cannot afford to leave it short. Ninety-two to ninety-five percent. Now I'm gonna. Oh, this is really, really, really tricky. I don't think I've ever had to hit a shot like this. Anywhere on the green would be nice. Oh, that's gone long. I should have clubbed down. I was so worried about... Oh, no. I was so worried about leaving it short, and I've gone far too long. Couldn't do much from there, to be honest. That's a real shame. Can't see the hole. Oh, there it is. Let's put the flag in. Still can't see it. Oh, wow. That's an incredible par putt. I was in all sorts of trouble there. But I walked away with a par. It's a massive relief. Okay, 204, 17 feet down. Wind behind. Six iron is probably about right. It's a nice bounce to the right now. Oh no, too long. Okay. Just a par. Okay, par five. It's just over 500 yards, but it's a tricky fairway. You can see you've got the trees in the way there. So ideally, we need to be tight down that right-hand side, but on the fairway. Well, the wind is off the left, so that's going to help. Oh, no, I've hit it slow. Oh, you idiot. Oh, that got a very kind bounce. Very lucky there. Okay, we've got 195 slightly uphill. The wind isn't really doing us any favours on this one. The ball is above my feet as well. Now, I had a graphics glitch there. I don't know if you noticed, but it happens sometimes. I pull back the uh, the swing stick and nothing happens for a fraction of a second and then it starts to move. And it's really off-putting. It doesn't happen too often, 
but um, I wish it didn't happen at all. So now I've got to try and get close from the bunker. It's a par five. left myself in a better position for the putt but this is for birdie that's a good up and down from the sand This is a tough one. This is a layup only shot. There's no other option here. I mean, I could hit it into that rough. You don't really know what kind of a lie you're going to get. Uh, wind behind as well. This is quite tricky. I'm going to try something here, which is probably a bit stupid, but I'm going to try and hit the driver as far as I can, but hopefully not in the water. It's got the wind behind as well. I can't reach the green, I know that, but it's the problem here is if I lay up to say there, it's going to leave me a long second. Although, having said that, that is probably the safest option. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. 10 mile an hour wind as well behind. That's why it's kind of tempting to hit the driver and just see if I can get as far down there as I can. But I'm going to hit the 5 iron for now. Oh, blow it wind. Oh, okay, maybe I should have hit the 4 iron. That's a mistake. Yeah, see, I've left myself a tricky 180 yards to go. It's downhill, downwind. Let's try the eight iron. Not too bad, considering where I was. This is a bit of a double breaker. It goes slightly to the right to begin with, and then to the left for the second half of the putt. I'm not sure if it's... Completely cancels it out, though. Oh, it did. Oh, no, that's a terrible shame. That's a chance missed. Yeah, this one's downhill. Slightly into the wind. Oh my goodness me, where's that come from? It's a terrible swing. Okay, I need to find my, my rhythm again. I've completely lost it for a minute. Mm. 
slow down. Whoa. Well, considering where I was, that's very good indeed. I could do with holding this. Yeah, that's a really, really good birdie after such a poor tee shot. Well, I enjoyed the front nine. It's really, really pleasant. Really nice course. So the back nine, uphill par four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the three wood here. It's not a particularly long hole. Try and hit that fairway, they. Hundred and twenty yards to go uphill. Oh, I'm on a nasty slope there. Hmm. Hit it fast, just a fraction. Get down, get down. It stayed on the green, that's something. Oh, it just managed to hang on to that left lip. Par 5 next at 11. Ooh, tricky drive, look at that. Very tight fairway down that right hand side, but elevated more so on the left into the wind. Actually, if I hit the driver, let's have a look. So, yeah, see, that's that's quite risky shot down the right hand side. I think I might go up the left, which I think is probably the safer option might leave me a longer second though 255 it's certainly reachable not sure the three iron's going to cut it though Five wood is probably going to be too long. What I could try here is a big draw. And draw it into that wind. Well, I may have overdone that. Yes, I have. Oh dear. Where's that going to end up? Yeah, it may not be too bad. It's heavy rough though. 60, 67 to 76%. Uphill lie as well. Go on, keep going. Not bad. Now the wind is right behind us here.
That's a great shot. I'm really pleased with that one. It's a lovely course. It's a really nice setting for a course. Very well designed from what I've seen so far. Thirteenth hole, par four. Uh, it's into the wind, so it's going to be playing a bit longer this one. I've hit another fast drive, but I think... Have I? No, it's just trickled into the first cut. I've hit a few loose drives. Oh, that's tough. Look at that slope in front of the green. What they refer to as a false front. And it's not just the green either, it's the fairway as well. Need to try and get it up there. It's 140 yards into the wind. This is tricky. I don't really want to go another club. Ah, that's too hard, I think. 104%. Actually, that's not too bad. It's on the correct level. Gives me an outside chance of a birdie. Oh, what a putt. Well, I think it's fair to say that uh, I've been saved by my by my putting on a few occasions this round. Okay, tricky par four here. I think I might hit the three iron off this tee. Sixty-four, probably. Let's go with the eight iron. Oh, I've hit it fast again. I've got away with it. Ah, just trickled onto the fringe. Six yards, so it's about 18 feet. I might putt this one, actually. I can see it's uphill. Oh, I've got the line wrong. That's a tricky green. Some severe slopes. 202 yards, slightly downhill, but it's into the wind. I, think I might hit the uh, the five iron here. Wing plane is all over the place. It's safely on the green.
Oh wow, this is possibly some of the best putting I've ever done. I know I've said it before in other videos, but it's so important to give yourself a chance. Hit the fairways, hit the greens. Just just give yourself a chance. You never know that the next shot, the next putt might go in. This is a tricky drive. Not much of a fairway. It slopes down to the right, but the wind is off the right, which will help. Need a good swing here, though. Blow it wind. I need the wind to blow that really hard. That could bounce into the rough. Is it going to stop? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, this is quite a bit uphill. Probably had on about 12 yards here. So that's 136. Mm, steep up slope and that wind as well. This might be a little short. I'll give it a go though. Ah, uh, get down. That's another good part. Just two holes remaining, a par four and then a par five to finish. Got a dog leg here. It's not too long though, and with that wind behind as well, we could get quite close to this green with a good drive. Ooh, it's a little bit slow. That's going to be in the rough. Kick left as much as you can. Go on. Oh, it nearly made the first cut. Seventy-two to eighty percent. It's uphill. Oh, I've ever hit it just a little bit. Okay, so just this last hole, the par five to come. What have we got? 588. Lovely undulating fairway. Big slope from right to left. What a glorious view that is. With a lighthouse in the background. Spectacular. Now, let's see if we can finish on a high note. But be careful here, you've got to work out how far it's going to carry. Oh, that's too far left, I think. That's going to kick down into the rough. Yep. Oh, what a shame. Just get down as far as you can. Ah, oh, that's a pity. It's gone over 400 yards, but if it was further to the right, that probably would have run another 20 or 30 yards. But even so, it's a par 5, and I've still got 100 and only 185 to go, so it's not too bad. I've got the wind helping, and I'm only in the light rough as well, so we're in fairly good shape. 10 mile an hour wind. 
Be so careful here, you don't want to come up short. Yeah, I think the six iron is going to be a bit much. Ball is slightly above my feet as well. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dear. Now then, is that going to stay dry? Yes, it's... That's a terrible swing again. Every now and again, I just hit a really poor swing. Okay, we're not out of this yet. Still an opportunity to chip and putt for birdie. that to slow down oh that's a real shame just overcooked it oh what a putt well, that's some of the best putting I think I've ever done. I'm delighted with that. But more importantly, that is a, a really, really nice course. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Great fun to play. Lots of opportunities to score well. So many congratulations to Skater Dave 69 You've done a cracking job with that one. So that's Whittier Mill GC. And uh, I highly recommend it. Give that one a go as soon as you can. I think you'll love it as much as I did. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. So take care, everyone. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.